George Floyd's killing. Everybody, right? How did that make you guys feel? Are you guys angry? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are pissed off, right? Yeah. That's very cool to see. Okay, I'm angry too, and I'm angry in a different type of way because my brother was killed the same way as George Floyd in Woodland, California. Just we're your neighbors over there, Yolo County. My brother Michael Barrera, he was killed on February 8th, 2017 by multiple officers of the Wilden PD. And his last words were also, I can't breathe. He had that same knee in the back of his neck as George Floyd. And his uh, struggle, his last nine moments lasted for moments as well, in addition to other beatings and tase and stuff like that. I don't need to get into that detail, but I'm here to share with you guys today that this is not a isolated incident that you guys got to see firsthand and it's going on every day across the country. Uh, my brother has not gotten any justice. He was in handcuffs when he was killed. He was an innocent man. He was telling them he couldn't breathe and he was mocked by Wilden PD officers. You see, it always hasn't been this way, this diverse, people coming out to support this issue. And it gets me a little emotional, so my apologies. I just need to be frank and honest. Fourteen years ago, I chaired the Human Relations Commission for the city of Davis. And on that commission uh, were really good people of all nationalities, very diverse. And uh, Timothy Malone, who's going to be speaking next, the Reverend Malone, he was on it too. What was different then is that when we had students coming to us, and giving public speeches, telling us what was happening to them. We were not met with white people that were supporting them and saying, this has to stop. So I thank you, my white brothers and sisters. Thank you. I'm not kidding. From the bottom of my heart. Because until, until the injustice that's happening, to black people, to brown people in this world, Asian folks, but mostly black folks. Until that matters to everyone, it's not going to matter. It has to matter. The fact that black folks matter, black lives matter. We hear people say, why do black lives matter? Because they need to matter to everybody. So we're about to march, right? We're about to get loud, right? We're about to take this movement and this message to the streets to let everyone know that in every day and every way, as other people have said, that black lives matter, right? That's what we're here to do. We're here, we're gonna take our message um, to some people in power, right? Um, I, I don't see them in the crowd, but I know some of them are here. We have a representative from our uh, congressional office that's going to be hearing from some of the demands of activists and organizers in this community later today. We have a representative from our state assembly member's office, and we're going to be taking our message directly to the Davis Police Department. <laughs> so 
So, um, I want... Y'all, I think I think y'all all really really know some of the the chants that we're gonna use. I think it's just helpful to review, just for you know, clarity and purpose. So we're gonna say Black Lives Matter. That's an easy one, right? Can y'all say that? Black Lives Matter. 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 We're gonna say some things like No Justice, No Peace. Can y'all say that? No Justice. No Justice. No Peace. We can try it a different way. I can say the no justice part, and then you can say the no peace part. No justice. No peace! See, this is real easy. So, um, let's see, we have a few more here. Um, oh, what do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now! And if we don't get it? Justice. See, some, only some of y'all knew that last part. So what do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now! And if we don't get it? Justice. And if we don't get it? We don't get it. Shut it down. See, this is real easy, folks. I'm glad y'all are out here. It's a little warm. We're gonna get going soon. We're gonna get going down Fourth Street, which I think is sort of directly behind me here. Um, I think uh, our, our sister Desiree Rojas wants to say a few words, but after that, we're gonna get going.